you want more? No. Okay. my channel if you are new here my name is audrey and i'm a full-time caregiver for my daughter autumn who has down syndrome and autism so if you're into that sort of thing make sure you hit that subscribe today we are making our second dollar tree dinner we are going to do a dollar tree pizza so you guys will have to stay tuned for that aldi has good deals all right stop number two on let's go pick some food they're all in the same area huh they got my favorite lollipops. I don't think they're Oh, is the back not open? And this one? Oh no. We'll get all the ingredients except for that then, I guess. They had a lot of the other places. Yeah, small ones. Okay. That's good. Oh, here's a big one. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. That's what I was thinking. One big one. One big one's not more than one. Oh, there you go. Ooh. All right. What kind of pasta sauce do you think? Sweet basil, I think, would be my guess. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, basil. I think basil. Mm -hmm. Pepperonis. Where are the pepperonis? Pancake mix. I want to try it. <sighs> To make those sausage things? Oh, we can't, they don't have the sausages here because their fridge part is closed. Adam, I'm not sitting down, Adam, I'm not sitting down. <laughs> she always thinks that. Here, everybody put that in there to make those sausage bite things. Did they have them at the other one? They did, they had everything. I wasn't paying attention. What is this potato scramble kit? Sounds good. We found the pepperonis. All right, what else, Joe? We also got this because I want to make like something else with it. We already got the tomato sauce. Should we get Parmesan? I think we have Parmesan at home. We already got the spaghetti sauce though. Or pizza sauce rather. I don't think we really need anything else. Yeah, I don't think so either. I was just looking. So I hit the big button. The okay start? No, this one. Hit the bake and put it in. What does it say? 425? Uh, yeah. It's 425. And then press the start button. And then once it's heated up to the right, then we could put it in the pizza. And just put like a tiny bit in the middle and then paint it on with this. I think that will definitely add a little flavor, you know? You know how they do it, pile on cheese. We're making a Dollar Tree pizza, okay? We got everything at Dollar Tree except for the cheese because they didn't have cheese. But, well, they had cheese, but they didn't have mozzarella cheese and I think that would be gross. <laughs> no way. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's all right. Next, we want to do we the got, sauce, which is this piece of sauce from we Dollar got Tree. sliced, but only on one area. <laughs> I think a couple of them are like that. Well, they're, they're only a dollar. What do you expect? <laughs> it's no big deal. Yeah. It'll still taste perfectly fine. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. All right, try it again. Yeah, we're just doing a little test. Yeah, try it out this time. Oh, yeah, it's coming out a little bit. Don't, I don't think you want to put too, too much, but I'm sure. Yeah, spread it out and then <laughs> decide how much more you want. You like a lot of sauce, don't you, on your pizza? Well, yeah, there's a certain amount. I'm kind Where of it's like too much and then. I think this is. You yeah. think that's good or a little bit more on this side? Yeah, that's probably good. I just want to even it out a little. Yeah, I agree. Okay, maybe a bit on yeah, this side. Yeah, maybe a bit on this side. This thing really did not come with that many. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you can scoop it off. <laughs> if it's too much, you can always scoop it off, you know? Well. Make it work. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad. You're right. It smells pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so now we need the cheese. The cheese we got is actually from Target. Because they didn't have cheese. Oh, wait, hold on. They didn't have mozzarella cheese at Dollar Tree, so you just got to do what you got to do. I'm already doing better. So this was two dollars, but I'm already doing better than Pizza Hut. They barely put any sauce. On this. <laughs> you know, I'm really surprised we don't have a pizza pan. I think they sell them at Dollar Tree too. Next time I'm going there, I'm gonna get one. <laughs> Maybe. 
I think it'd be a good idea. All right, obviously you can put as much cheese as you want. Like, I don't know how you like your cheese. You like a crap ton, little. I like a lot, actually. Like I said, I just want it evenly. Yeah. Do you think Autumn would do this? I want to try to get Autumn to try it. Well, uh, there's two, two more left of those. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'm sure there's plenty of cheese. She doesn't like pepperoni anyway. So she could just do a plain cheese. Exactly. All right, time for... You don't want to add more cheese in that? You think that's good? Well, I mean... It's up to you. It's your pizza. Yeah, take a bit more would help it. Maybe, maybe a little right here and like here. Yeah, and I there. Can. Just a couple of bald spots, you know? <laughs> Ultra thin pizza crust. That's the best way. Yeah. All right. Now you can add All right. your pepperonis. Does it have, do you need scissors for that? No. Or does it have an opener? Okay. Yeah, we'll See, the little pack that's from the Dollar Tree came with like two little packs. And maybe one little pack's enough for one pizza. I don't know. What do you think? I think it might be. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, those ones are really greasy. The Hormel ones. I like their pepperonis though. I think their pepperonis are good. I'm sure they're good. I mean, grease is usually a good sign with most things. Yeah. The only thing from the Dollar Tree too that we didn't, they, I don't know if they had it. They probably did have it, but olive oil. I bet you they did have it. I didn't even look. Yeah, all things considered, I think I'm doing better than that one uh, Italian place we went to. <laughs> Dude, that Italian place was so bad. We went to this Italian place in Palm Springs, and it was like the worst food we've ever had. It was terrible. Well, it wasn't the worst food I ever had. It's just it was for the, for the price yeah. and everything. It just kind of didn't really. All right. It's looking good, Joe. Is the oven preheated all the way yet? 425? Uh, Not quite. No. Okay. Well, yeah. let's wait a few minutes when it beeps, and then we'll put it in let's the oven. Let's put this... Masterpiece in the oven. And you said it was for eight minutes? Is that what it said online? I'd say 12. Okay, let's do 12. Put it in the top part, yeah. Yeah, and then you just close it and it'll close. It'll. There we go. Echo timer, 12 minutes. What's the go? <laughs> all right, the timer is all going. Let's get this pizza out. Echo music off. Oh. Did it get too crispy, you think? I think it got perfect. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. Echo, timer off. I just accidentally said music off. Ooh, it's looking crunchy, which we want it to be crunchy, so I think it looks yeah, perfect. You just want me to sit down. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine to go on the counter. A little heat ain't gonna. Oh. We should ask Andy if he wants one. We can make another one. Oh, yeah. It looks like. Really good, actually. Yeah, I'm surprised it actually looks that nice. And it smells good, too. We shall see. No, it's only crunchy. <laughs> Is it super cracker crunchy? <laughs> only on the ends. Okay, that's what you want, because that's the Let's that's see. the crust. Okay, is... is it not cutting that good? It's not really uh, cutting that well, but... Uh... <laughs> Echo. Off. Yeah, the kind of crack <laughs> on one of the edges. Kind well, of you gotta push. You gotta push like this. Push into it like this. Put your arm into it, you know? There you go. All right, take that little corner piece. Yeah, that's just a little... Little corner piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nah, nah, I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut. <laughs> just, little... just come off, bro. All right, official. It actually really doesn't look bad. That is pretty good. Is it really good? Oh yeah. It's For... really better than the one. <laughs> the one better than Palm Springs. Okay, I want to taste a tiny bit of it. Let me see. I like it. I kind of like thin crust because it's like crackers. It's good. Excellent. Joe, so what's your official rating out of ten? Nine. Seriously, it's it's good. <laughs> For Autumn to give you a honest honest thing because she's like not picky. You're not a picky eater, huh, Autumn? You just love to eat.
You want more? No. Okay. I was really surprised how good the pizza was. I actually didn't try the hot dog casserole because I had already eaten dinner and I wasn't really hungry when he made it. So I was like, yeah, whatever. But the pizza was actually really good. Like the crust is really thin crust, like almost like cracker. But I like thin crust. I, if you don't like thin crust, you probably won't like it. But I thought it was really tasty. Also, I like less sauce. If you like a lot more sauce, maybe you wouldn't like it. I don't know. Andy refused to try it. And Autumn did try it. She ate all, half of it, half the pizza she ate. <laughs> so she obviously liked it. And Joe really liked it too. And I told him, I'm like, we got to make it again because that's so cheap. <laughs> Only thing I didn't get at the Dollar Tree was the mozzarella cheese. I went to three different Dollar Trees in my area and none of them had it. They do carry it though, because I did find it later at another location that's close to my house. But anyway, I got it at um, Target. I got it at Target and it was like $2 and like 36 cents or something like that. So it was a little bit more, but they would have had the cheese it would have only been like five dollars to feed a family of four actually you could have probably fed more because it was two pizzas and you could easily do two pizzas with those ingredients so it could probably feed maybe a family of six i don't know but i thought that was a really good deal for pizza we're really enjoying this dollar tree dinner series and we're going to keep doing it so stay tuned for that and i will definitely include a dessert next time too because desserts are the best. Who doesn't love desserts? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Lots more videos to come, so stay tuned. And let me know if you have tried any of the Dollar Tree dinners or if you follow that creator. And I will link her in my description. Again, the Dollar Tree creator who is on TikTok and also on YouTube.